They are a plot device, a byword for luxury, craftsmanship and beauty. I think it's a testament to him. I think we can't underestimate the sheer triumph of craftsmanship that comes to produce these. And when you look at them closely, and I implore everybody to come to look at them, when you look at them, they are mind-blowing. They are mind-blowing creations. And they are there to entice and to, again, create that sense of wonder. You may own an Easter egg, but you don't really own it. You know, they're part of everybody's cultural horizon. And I think there is a great joy when those cultural, iconic, international treasures, we all know what a Fabergé egg is, when they're brought back into the public eye. And so we're very grateful for all of those lenders who allowed us to do that. I think there were great similarities between Britain and Russia at this time, but there was also a thriving cultural dynamic in Edwardian London. And so if you were a great craftsman, a great artist, a, a creator of awe and wonder, London was the place you would come to meet the patrons who would fulfill your needs. Well, this display case here is, really encapsulates the, the central narrative of the exhibition. It's how an international goldsmith, Fabergé, came to London and then began to immortalise Britain and particularly London in his works. So here, right in the centre, we have Fabergé painting an enamel scene of the Houses of Parliament, you know, the absolute iconic London landmark but it's mounted in Siberian jade. So it's a fusion of Russia, but it's Russia looking towards England and creating, immortalizing the British world. look at a lot of Fabergé items you think of things that are very sparkly and shiny and beautiful well this obsidian rhinoceros is a lot more subtle so you can really see the musculature and the details it allows you to admire the craftsmanship without being blinded by the beauty of the object of Anglo-Russian relations at a specific moment in history it provides an intimate insight I would like to mention here that Walsky and the v and great friend Nicholas Snowman have been one of 500 employees were also steered by an exceptional business and marketing action. 